I sent you the base Saturn. I got an entire Dreamcast <laughs> in a library Shut full up. of games. <laughs> I love that Saturn, man. That thing is so cool. Didn't even send him dreams. <laughs> uh, Wally, actually, you got your choice. I have a 1080p or I have 720p Logitech. I'll take the 1080. If, if yeah. I mean, if I'm getting, if I have a choice, I'll have a 10. Well, to be honest, uh, this is the 721. I didn't even know I had it. Wally well, cracking it. open a, a nice cold Coors Light. Yeah, right. oh. I wish it was Coors a Coors Light. Light shit. This uh, this little table I'm using has has a cup holder. Nice. <laughs> so nice. Uh yes. Yeah. Let me let me find the other one, the the 1080 one. Um, I have some Japanese brand one here that didn't really work out that well, and then I have the 720. And I'll find the other one and uh, just shoot me your address. I'll get it out this week if I can, or maybe next week. Is it a holiday? Yeah, right, I'll, well. I'll I'll send you one. I'm getting a new computer on Wednesday, so that's nice. Nice, beautiful. Just in time, right before the holidays. <laughs> I'm right. going into crippling debt. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> is All it right. A well, since there's four of us, I'll go ahead and start the episode, and uh, we're just gonna you talk about. Well, we'll introduce everybody and then we'll just kind of jump right into it because uh we all tend to go long so we got to be out by about 7 15 7 20 so we'll uh we'll do this sounds good that's 8 15 8 20 me okay is everybody that's... ready to uh to roll yep. yes sir here we go in three two one this is blasphemy this is madness This is Sparta! programs and yes it is time for episode 300 my name is jason robbins my name is derek diamond and joining us this evening we have up first we have you know him you love him he is the wrestling extraordinaire he is mr joey image Good evening, gentlemen. Pleasure to be here again. I love doing this show with you guys, by the way. We love Regardless having you. Of the topic. Yep, we love having you, sir. Uh, don't lie to me. <laughs> I would never lie to you. <laughs> and up next, we if have... If you did, I wouldn't do anything about it anyway. We have the fact checker himself, so he can fact check us uh, in real time here on the show, Mr. Wally Phelps. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. Great movie. <laughs> Great, great movie. So I just uh, want to start off by saying thank you guys for uh, for joining us on the show tonight, and thank everybody. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you everybody <laughs> for uh, for all the people that support us and have listened to us <laughs> for the last six years. Thank you for being here with us and and talking about retro games. Thank you to everybody. <laughs> wow, that's an extreme zoom there, Joey. Um, I love this camera. So this thank you to, to everybody that's been hanging out with us for the last six years. And we, we do this because we love it, but we also love uh, our community that we've built. And uh, Derek, did you have anything you wanted to say to the peoples? Yeah. And just to kind of echo, you know, what Jason was saying, it's been crazy to see the evolution of what the show started as, because we were just going to do it as a seasonal thing. We were going to do like six episodes, then take a little bit of a hiatus, then do six more. But honestly, after the first episode, we just had so much fun doing it that we wanted to keep going. And now to see the following that it's picked up and the people we've met that we all talk to on a pretty regular basis is because of Nerd Cave Retro. And that's, you know, and I, I love, you know, being here with you every week and talking about video games and the fact that you tolerate my fanboyness for Sonic the Hedgehog pretty much every week. But oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's getting to chat, you know, with with Rampage and you know Bethany Fox and other people we've met through the Discord and through the show is has been really my favorite part of doing this podcast. And we've gotten quite a few people join the Discord too in the last uh, week or so. So if you wow. like to join our Discord and be in the discussions, we have a very lively uh, community over there on Discord. Just go to our Twitter, and at the very top is uh, a link that does not expire. Just click that link, 
and uh, you can be part of our Discord community. And tonight, and what we do in that Discord community is we have a topic in there uh, that changes every every time we do a top five. But this month, we're doing top five game soundtracks. And uh, people submitted their uh, submissions in there in the Discord and uh, emailed them to us. And we're going to read those after we do ours, which uh, if, you're, if you're new to the show, um, what we do is we'll do a kind of, uh, we'll just go person by person and we'll talk about our, our top five game soundtracks. And um, so uh, if you guys are ready, we can go ahead and, and jump into our topic for tonight. How does that sound? Love it. Am, this was one of the okay. hardest lists that I've ever had to put together. Uh, really? See, mine was two minutes. I was like, all right, I know this, 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 this is yeah. great. I feel like I'm cheating on mine, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll start Have off with Joey. <laughs> since uh, Joey is uh, one of my best friends. I mean, my, my best friends are right here on, on screen with us, and you're, you're one of my best friends, and we always Thank talk you, about uh, video game stuff all the time, and, and <clears> just <throat> we're just good friends. And uh, yes, yes, you can sir. go ahead and start with, uh, with your list, and you can start with your honorable mentions, and then do go into your top five. All right. Before I start, I just want to echo what Derek said about meeting cool people through this show. I don't remember if we met through this or PCP or Twitter or what, but like <laughs> you guys, there are three guys I literally met through this that I talk to daily. I mean, literally daily in, the, in a group chat or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, I appreciate it. And uh, there's there are people actually Rampage was in my Twitch stream the other day, which uh, which I met him through here through you guys. So like I appreciate all that as well. Oh, yeah, I was watching while I made breakfast the other day. Oh, that's right. Oh, man, that biscuits and gravy looks so good. <laughs> and, like, grits. Oh, I love grits. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, while you were eating that, I was having a green fruit smoothie, mm. which wasn't <laughs> bad, but it just looks like it's already been eaten once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So my uh, Zelda, uh, my Zelda, my, honor all right, well, there you go. My honorable mentions. First one is original, the original Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I'm I'm reading. I just read the wrong uh, thing. Uh, so um, my my I only have four honorable mentions. So the original NES Legend of Zelda, uh, GTA, the ones with the custom. I mean uh, the ones with the radio stations. Mm -hmm. So like the ones where you actually get in the car and turn. Say I don't remember if that was all of them or not. Uh, there were a few that I haven't played, but like four and five on PC. Uh, not four and five. Um, five and like Vice City on PC. Like you could you could add a folder and it would have a radio station of all your MP3s that mm -hmm. were in there. That was always cool to me. Uh, the original EverQuest, um, at least the theme song and also the original super Mario brothers for NES, which is like, I wrote, uh, this is the Hulk Hogan of theme songs. Every, <laughs> everyone knows it. Maybe, maybe people won't exactly know where it's from, but they'll, they'll have heard it somewhere. Even if they're not a video game fan, if you're, even if you're not a giant wrestling fan, you've heard the name Hulk Hogan, you know who he is good or bad mm -hmm. um but <laughs> if you're i mean i can't give them a, a lot of praise but uh if you, you know even if you're not a gamer man everyone knows at my last job my last day job super mario brothers the original theme song was the hold music when you called and, and got put on hold <laughs> um because my, awesome. my old boss was a giant mario fan um yeah so those are my five four top um honorable mentions i mean and then my top five are in no order well, uh, I'll read them backwards. The last five, last four are in no order. Uh, the original uh, NES version of Rygar. Oh, yeah, that is a good one. Much better than the, uh, hey, right there, man, complete a box, 50 bucks. I still Just need to get that, that like, poster frame that you sent me, that Rygar Did I send poster. you the poster? Yeah, I don't even know. I, I don't even know where my poster ended up. I don't know where it is. It's probably on the wall somewhere. I just don't know it, but I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, I'll get it framed, and it'll go up right back here. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's an... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm trying to not get sidetracked. Uh, so there's a, there's a there's a uh, a map in Rygar called Saliga's Cave. That is the coolest. That's that is probably one of the songs I've seen the most um, made into a metal version on YouTube. Oh yeah. So if you if you if you search YouTube Rygar Saliga's Cave NES or just Rygar Saliga's Cave, there's there's one guy that I love. At least like once a week, I'll throw it on just to hear it. It's such a cool theme song. Um, <clears throat> so that um contra for nes oh yeah because i like the fact that each stage is a different it's like super mario is like the same song through each level basically 
Yeah. Uh, for the most part, yeah, Contra the, is different every time. You have the main theme, and then you have the underground right. theme. The underground, the water, stuff like that. But like the main theme is essentially through each outdoor level. Uh, Contra is a different theme for each stage. It's just I just love that 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 whole uh, that whole soundtrack. Uh, Dark Age of Camelot, um, which I don't even I used to have the soundtrack somewhere. I don't know what I did with it, but uh, that that I played that game for years until WoW came out, and like that soundtrack is still floating around in my head, like randomly. Like I'll just randomly bust out into like the main Camelot theme song, and my wife's like, "What the hell is that?" Yeah, I never played um, that. I was I was a City of Heroes guy before WoW dropped, and that I went yeah, from City well, of, so City I, of Villains I was playing, to WoW. I was playing that. Which you know, um, actually, I just found my City Heroes box the other day, and I don't even know where it is, but it's back there somewhere. Um, I was playing that too, and then uh, that and 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 uh, EQ for a little while, and um, Dark Edge Camera all at the same time. Uh, my so my next one is the original World of Warcraft soundtrack. I love all of them, but the original one, uh, Russell Brower did, and uh, through the nerd community and the Frog Pants community, I became friends with Russell, so it made me appreciate that soundtrack even more. Um, and that's another one that like, if I'm sitting at work or even if I'm in the car, I'll just go to Pandora and I'll just put in war. I have like a mm -hmm. world of Warcraft channel. I mean, soundtrack like station or whatever. I'll just hit that and whatever comes on. Um, cause I'm a giant nerd like that. And then my <laughs> number one, again, the other four were in no order. Um, but my number one hint, hint is days gone. <laughs> I have, I, I have to, this has to be on my list. I mean, the, my wife walked down the aisle at our wedding to a, a song from the days gone mm -hmm. soundtrack. That's how like ingrained in our relationship this game now is and the soundtrack. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, it's like that. And the, the opening theme song too, just like on the title screen or the menu screen or whatever is just awesome. Dude, um, if they make a Nathan sequel Whitehead to that game, a... if they make a sequel to that game and they don't give you a cameo in it, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing there's no justice in the world because you personally are responsible for for at least half a million units sold of that game. well i yeah. i bought four myself so um i have a uh, copy because of you <laughs> did i buy i'll it be getting you? it because of no I, oh, I, right. I ended up getting it because of you <laughs> I was going to, all right, I'll let this cat out of the bag because it didn't work out in my favor, but I was going to gift it to Derek the other day when we were talking about it. That's why I asked if you have a PS4 or PS5, and then I didn't know that you can't gift stuff through the PSN store, which makes no sense to me. That's weird. Oh, wow. You Jeez. used to be able to buy a code as a gift. It would it would, it would would either email to you and or you just email it directly to the person. But, A, I was hmm. thinking, well, he's going to wonder, like, why do I need his email address, which then I realized I have it for the uh for complex reasons but um <laughs> but you, they don't allow that anymore i don't understand why so now, mm -hmm. now they're they're um they're uh the only option i guess is to buy uh, a gift card and then do that and then they could buy the game but i'm like no man i want to make sure he buys this game <laughs> so i couldn't do it so sorry <laughs> buddy just, I tried. Yeah, no, it's all good it's the thought that counts um, but yeah i bought it i think i bought it four times because I, I bought the standard version I fell in love with it. Then I bought the collector's the collector's version, collector's edition, whatever. And then I bought uh, the PC version, and then I gifted one to Scott Johnson. So yeah, I bought it four <laughs> times. So I'm 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 responsible for at least four four copies. Well, yeah, um, they got a copy. That's from, worth a cameo from me because of you. I, I bought it specifically I, because you told I me. I legitimately to. know at least twelve people that bought it because of me pushing it all the time. Mm. Um, and that's not me, you know, big time in myself or whatever, put myself over, but. But there's, I mean, and and I was tagging all of them on Twitter just so John Garvin and and uh, and Jeff Ross that made the game and Ben could see that like I was out there do making the hustle like you know living the dream not not having anything to do with it but still trying and every time somebody was like dude you I bought this game because you keep talking about it I I would tag it like another satisfied customer or something nice um, <laughs> yeah but so so my wife walked down the aisle to a song from that soundtrack and like just the title screen is awesome that's another one that and the wow stuff that i'll just throw into pandora and um actually the the collector's edition came with uh the, the soundtrack but i'll throw it into pandora and just hit you know whatever shuffle and whatever comes up comes up that and wow are like the two like biggest soundtracks i do that with I thought so about Days putting it. I thought about one. putting it on my list, but I knew you were going to do it. So <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to repeat. <laughs> but uh, but up next, we will move on to my best good friend, Mister Wally Phelps. What you got for your honorable mentions first? I you know I didn't have a whole lot of honorable mentions. Uh, I mean, aside from the fact that 
I wanted to pick a whole bunch of games that are probably going to be on other people's lists. So, you know, you look at the Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, uh, the um, if, uh, Star Tropics is another good one. Mm. Weirdly enough, I enjoy Fester's Quest's music. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's um, got good music, it's just the game sucks. Right. And, uh, but those are really my uh, honorable mentions. And, you know, if I want to go into my top five, um, and in no particular order except for the top one, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about uh, Undertale has wonderful music. Uh, if you listen to the song Megalovania, uh, it is wonderful. It's a, it's like a boss song but i hear it on the internet all the time in memes and whatnot and it's it, it just kind of hits me so as soon as i hear that song i'm like oh that's a banger <laughs> so that so based on the strength of that one song and the rest of it's really good too it's just not as iconic i guess you would say as mm. that one um and uh it's very similar to the doom song i would i would say I, I, some people might not see that but i do um the uh my number four would be halo 2 um it's a I great love, one we got a lot of halo that two. <laughs> uh just you know just sitting there listening to the gregorian chants in, the, mm. in that you know it, it, it's funny because it wasn't that game wasn't too far removed from when Gregorian chant was an actual genre of music yeah. <laughs> that people actually listened to. And a lot of younger people might not realize that that was ever a thing because there's no evidence of it anywhere. But that was a, a little fad that happened for maybe three, four months. <laughs> you know what? I should look up that commercial on YouTube. You remember the commercial they used to play all the time in the 90s? It's like, right. you know how you, you could send off for CDs through uh, through commercials on TV? And it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because it would be the Gregorian chant. That was tremendous. That should be our new outro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're talking then about. Oh, would... Can somebody please cut those and put them together? <laughs> then, that would be amazing. Then it, it would play some Enya for a minute and like all this different stuff, and you're like, "Oh, I need to get that. That's that's pretty cool." And I never got it. it. And it's it's just like slow music playing, and then there's somebody whispering random stuff. Yeah. It's like ASMR <laughs> for the '90s. <laughs> it's like, wait, I'm very you know just, just like what are you doing <laughs> what, what, what is this song i'm listening to what was the second uh what was the second service that that you could buy like the a bunch of there was columbia house and there was something that started with a B. uh bmg yeah BMG. yes uh, okay i was thinking yeah. bloomberg for some reason well, there's <laughs> yeah. a bmg in bloomberg well, i'm so pretty sure both, both correct, of those yeah. companies are still after me so <laughs> yeah I, I still owe them a penny for 93 cds right. and <laughs> I, I I still bought like two, three DVDs for a dollar forty nine. Yeah, but, uh, I used to buy them and then not show them to my parents, and they would be like, "What did you get?" Oh no, it was all the parental advisory crap. <laughs> I used to I used to run to my because my bedroom was upstairs. I used to run to my bedroom, put in other stuff that was okay, and then bring that box down. And my mother would be like, "Okay, fine." And then this they week found it my... was jagged little pill. But you actually bring in the you know the 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 what what's his name? An oh my god, pill right. <laughs> Right, it's like all for one from the Three Musketeers soundtrack. You know, I don't remember what I what I I, I tried to switch it with, but I was unsuccessful. I, and I didn't have enough time one time to do this. And my mother, <laughs> my mother found Slayer and Suicidal Tendencies, and she took both of them. Right. And I eventually found them hidden in my parents' room. And she's like, "I'm not letting you have a tape called Suicidal Tendencies." I'm like, "Ma, it's just the name. It's not." <laughs> all I wanted was a Pepsi. <laughs> I should have forgot how I thought of that at the time. Oh, I want to uh, just but uh, uh, my uh, third <laughs> one is DuckTales. Oh, um, that's a good one, specifically. Yeah. The moon level is uh, something that will 
No, like, I don't understand how they made that song so chill, so to speak, you know, that mm-hmm. um, I, I can't, I couldn't reproduce it if I wanted to, but it's, if you look up the moon level of DuckTales, it's so kind of, you could do yoga to it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so nice and relaxing. Um, That's probably one of the enchantment. best songs ever created on the NES. It might be. It it legitimately might be the greatest song that's ever been written for a video game. <laughs> uh, and the my final two are cheating because they're uh, compilations of soundtracks. Um, the uh, number two is Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. Um, the, the remake. You know, we've got Anthrax, Dead Kennedys, Goldfinger, Primus, Suicide Machines. Pop Heroes, Rage Against the Machine, Naughty by Nature, Bad Religion, Power Man 5000. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, it's, uh, it, I mean, Superman by Goldfinger is kind of synonymous with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. Yep. And, uh, you know, um, those games are Gorilla a perfect, Radio. Those, those games are a perfect snapshot of what was going on in music at that point. <laughs> yeah. It really uh-huh. is. I mean, and a lot of people discovered these bands through Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Mm-hmm. They also have a the the remake has got a uh, not a second soundtrack, but like an alternate soundtrack for streaming too. So if you're streaming it, huh. you can hit like the streaming soundtrack thing, and it's all lo- it's all royalty free stuff. That's cool. Some of That's the same really songs clever. are on there because they were licensed, but um, right. they're they're not all. So uh, hmm. so some of them had to be removed. Yeah. But uh, it's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, and uh, my my number one can uh, I, should I shock guess? no one. Can I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Rock band. Oh God, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love the oh God first. Oh God, oh no, God, you're wrong. God, Jesus. Well, he only spent uh, like twelve thousand dollars on on rock band on songs. buying the add-ons and stuff. <laughs> it's rock band four. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> because it has the soundtrack of Rock Band 1, 2, 3, Green Day, <laughs> um, uh, the heavy metal uh, compilation, and all of the downloadable content. Oh, so, so if you count all that, we've got like 15 Weezer songs. We've got all the <laughs> Green Day's greatest hits. We've got uh, everything from... Uh, as far back, as far reaching as you know, the House of the Rising Sun, mm-hmm. all the way to uh, Olivia Rodrigo, "Good for You," which is a new, a newer song that came I out last it. year. <laughs> and uh, it, so, <laughs> like, I'm not going to go over everything because I can't. Uh, this show is not long enough, but it is a a lot. There is a whole lot. In fact, if you look up what songs are available on Rock Band 4, you will be shocked because they are still putting songs in it. <laughs> and most Damn. people don't know that. <laughs> I, I didn't think know that. I didn't think people still had working instruments for, for Rock Band <laughs> for rock at band. this point. There's free ones on Craigslist all the time. Yeah, I mean, you, ha- you can pick up some uh, used ones. <laughs> they don't sell them new anymore but uh i use it basically as i just do the singing i have all of the instruments i just don't that needs to be streamed live streamed can't it's uh all licensed music uh yep yeah, i mean yeah, you could stream you could it but it, uh, then you would have you to delete the VOD immediately afterwards but you could stream <laughs> well, it uh, yeah you just can't monetize it that's all you can stream it <laughs> Well, the I, I have to. I might be able to. With I just want you to live computer. sing on Twitch. <laughs> with my new computer, I might be able to. But oh. as it stands right now, um, the I have to stream through the Xbox to do it, yeah. and it doesn't let you. Um, like right. the moment you start getting into the song, it it cuts oh. off. It, PS5 it's like does black that for certain stuff too. Yeah, it'll say like this screen has been. Uh, blocked from being broadcast or something for for licensing reasons or yeah. something else like that. Yeah, I can't wait till you get your new computer that that brand new Packard Bill four eighty six forty six sixty six Windows ninety five. 
a Windows 98, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I got a brand new sealed Windows 3.1 back there if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sealed, just gonna, man. I'm just going to say it now. Windows Me was the best Windows oh, that ever. Oh, God. Did. Come on. I got to go. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> this show is over. <laughs> yeah, go. Hey, can I add an honorable mention to my list that sure. I somehow forgot? Yeah. Uh, Shenmue. All of them. Oh, yeah. It. One to three. That's just such good stuff, man. Especially the first one. There's like little pieces of that that get stuck in my head too randomly, but uh, I don't know right. how, I, how I forgot to add that. I'm and gonna... if, if if Wally's allowed to add a compilation, I'm going to say Beat Saber because oh. that's a just a <laughs> compilation of all real songs, and it's super fun, and it's uh, VR, and it's good. Awesome. Well, Mr. Like Derek, it. my my good friend, Mr. Derek, one of my best friends on the planet. I'm glad we're doing a show together, and we made 300 episodes so far, and. Uh, I would like for you to go next, sir. I will go last. Okay. So I had to narrow my list down from 18 soundtracks to five <laughs> plus wow. six honorable mentions. I, I'm a sucker for video game soundtracks. I've loved these since I was a kid. Yeah. Back in the days of you know burning your own music on CDs, even though you weren't supposed to do that, I did it anyway. Hmm. Oh. I had this, this compilation <laughs> of... Um, like retro songs throughout the year. So like I had a CD with just music from the NES. I had one just for Super Nintendo, Did one for Sega those? Genesis. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want them still. I, I still have them. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I even I had a friend draw like the GameCube logo for that one, the Super Nintendo logo for mm -hmm. that one. So they're, cool. they're still in really good condition, surprisingly. So th this was a really tough list for me to do, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and get my compilation out of the way for my honorable mentions, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, because it has the soundtrack from all the other Smash Brothers games, plus new ones, and they're all fully orchestrated. So hearing the Super Mario Brothers theme with a full orchestra behind it is just so mm. freaking cool. And they have, you know, from Mario to Sonic to Zelda, Star Fox, all the properties that are represented in this game, they have at least five or six songs from so it's really an incredible soundtrack uh banjo kazooie is on there as well for my honorable mentions i threw in the original halo um for a lot of the reasons that wally mentioned just the music added so much to that game and i don't think the music gets enough credit to be honest uh sonic the hedgehog 3 i talked about this on the show last week secret of mana one of my favorite uh rpgs for the super nintendo Wow. Uh, it really captures the the essence of kind of like these medieval time era that you're living in. That that game is, I mean, that uh, that title is a, a title I haven't heard in years. Oh, that game is Secret so good. Man, it's such I, a good yeah. I love that game so much. Yeah, uh, it's been so long, man. I'm going to have to pick that up again. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's great. And then my last honorable mention is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> Turtles oh, in Time. Nice. Specifically because of sewer surfing. I like it just <laughs> like, the initials. Right? I mean, that, that game is so fun, right. but the music is great, too. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> yeah. TMNT. I, I just did, too. I just did, too. <laughs> not that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not those initials. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, so, going into my top five, my number five is the original Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. Oh, that's good This one. game was so cool when it came out and the music added so much to it because you had the almost like rock beat to Cornaria when you would first start the game and it was so like fast paced that it sucks you into the game and some had a little more you know mellow type of music but it was still really catchy like yeah I could sit there to this day and just kind of bob my head while I'm playing through the entire game still haven't beaten it to this day the game's ridiculously hard but oh, yeah. I love the music for it <laughs> I don't think Number you can four, beat that game. <laughs> I can beat all the other ones pretty easily, but uh, that first one is just, it's its something. Uh, my number four is the original Donkey Kong Country for mm. the Super Nintendo. Oh, I almost picked that. Love all the other sequels, and I think Donkey Kong Country 2 is a better game, but when it comes to the music, I gotta go with the original Donkey Kong. That, that simple drum beat that's really become the theme of donkey kong now throughout the years uh number three much to no one's surprise right over my right shoulder the legend of zelda ocarina of time what? 
<laughs> what? Yeah, shocker, right? Uh, what? <laughs> e- everything from the opening theme with the soft piano to Hyrule Field to you know, when you fight bosses, every track in this game is good. It's one of the maybe two or three soundtracks that I can listen to from start to finish and not skip a track. That's how much I love it. I love it's linked to the past too. And a lot of the other Zelda games have great soundtracks too, but Ocarina of Time is, is easily my favorite. My number two, this might surprise people because it's this high on my list is illusion of Gaia for the super Nintendo. Another fun RPG like secret of mana, like earthbound that I've mentioned in the past. I throw this in there because I love chill music when it comes to video games, and this has a lot of it. It takes place in kind of like the age of exploration with you know pirate ships and deserts and things like that, old temples you can explore. And the music, the soundtrack has everything from peaceful to joyful to creepy to almost rock type in some in some instances just really really love illusion of guy and the soundtrack i'm still not, and my num- i've still never played that i need to go back and actually yeah play i haven't that. either i know i, I is, think I, I, I think you'd like it. it it's it's a long game mm. you have to put a lot of time into it but it's it's a lot of fun the storyline secret great. of mana right now because Derek brought it up oh <laughs> nice so, it's, it's i got it on my steam deck so no I'm nice like, man now i gotta start playing this again it's been so long <laughs> that game's so good yeah. but my number one is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I almost Ah. put Sonic 3 on this one, but Sonic 2, another one of those soundtracks, like I mentioned with Ocarina of Time. And this soundtrack is on Spotify, so I can now do this. (laughs) I can start from the opening to the end credits and not skip a single track. The music fits its environment for every zone you go to, whether it's Emerald Hill, Chemical Plant, which that also happens to be my favorite Sonic track of all time um oil ocean mystic cave metropolis zone like they're all great and i can listen to this soundtrack you know all day and not get tired of it that's a testament i mean i think we talked about this last week too with the sonic the hedgehog music even though i never had a genesis i still can instantly recall like sonic the hedgehog music because it's It's very distinctive it's very distinctive but, uh, but that's my top five. Awesome. Well, now we're going to go to my list, if I can get my Google Doc here to stop freaking out. I'm uh, sorry we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so for my honorable mentions, um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, in no particular order, we have Red Dead Redemption, uh, in particular a song called Far Away by Jose Gonzalez which is the song that plays when you're first going to Mexico, which is one of the coolest um, <clears throat> moments in any video game. Just that you're just on your horse, you're going through the desert to Mexico, and like there's this awesome song playing. And it, it lasts like forever <laughs> because everything's almost like in real time. So it's just it was one of those like really cool moments in gaming. If nobody's ever played the original Red Dead Redemption. Uh, next up is F Zero for the Super Nintendo. Love that soundtrack. soundtrack so much. Very good. I need a new uh, F Zero game in my life. Please, Nintendo, just do it. And of course, another Super Nintendo title Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I mean, who doesn't love I think all Zelda games should be on this list because there I don't think <laughs> there's been a Zelda game with bad music in it ever. Um I mean even Not Breath of the aware. Wild as sparse as it is does have music in it that's really good. It just doesn't have an iconic song like yeah. all the other soundtracks do. It is more background music which fits yeah which fits it, the game. It's more it's of a an background game. ambient sound <laughs> soundscape type of thing. Um <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and my last honorable mention is another Super Nintendo title, The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Uh, another one of those really cool soundtracks that I can just listen to. Like I, I love... That game is just one of the most coolest Super Nintendo games ever made. And nobody played it. 
and that's sad well, to me. <laughs> I don't think I did either. Now I'm going to see if I have it. <laughs> it's on. Uh, if you have Switch Online, it's it's. Uh, no, wait, it's not on Switch Online. No. Well, I have. Uh, no, I, it's not. <laughs> I uh, acquired what is supposedly the full library for my Steam. Oh, that, yeah, so you should have it, it then. Yeah, play that game. That game's. Good. I think I've heard of it. I just don't remember ever having played it. It's so good. It's ridiculous. It's on NES or Super NES. Super Nintendo. Uh, There's a N64 version too of the game, but I never played that one. Um, And for my actual list, and uh, the let's see, I'm gonna start with number five, and it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original game for the Nintendo NES. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That soundtrack is so damn good. good. (laughs) Yeah, it's even like uh, if you ever um, have you ever heard of you know how there's a lot of bands that do metal versions of old Nintendo uh, soundtrack stuff. That that Rygar song that's that's Um, on YouTube. It might be the same people we we listen to, but there's a band called Vomitron. Oh yeah! Oh, you you introduced me to that band. They do the one that I'm talking about for the Rygar thing is just one guy doing it. Uh, Oh okay, with with a like an electronic drum track in the background yeah. but uh i've heard, i've i've only heard of vomitron through you vomitron's awesome i listen to almost everything they've done on spotify like they do entire soundtracks like the entire ninja gaiden soundtrack the entire contra soundtrack mega man they do it all um and up number four is a game that i have some of my best gaming memories with the the original halo for the xbox and the n- truth and reconciliation suite is one of the best song like orchestrations ever written for video games, movies, whatever. But just the the waiting room song for when we were doing land parties and that da 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 that right there is what we would hear while we're all making fun of each other in the waiting room of the land party. Is just the that day is mine. <laughs> the day is mine. <laughs> um, just that memory alone puts that on this list. Um, number three is Mass Effect Two, which I think has some of the coolest like synth wave sounding orchestration. It, it it's just it's got that weird uh, like almost Blade Runner type sound to it it's it's something that just needs to be listened to uh and it's one of my favorite games of all time one of the only games i've ever 100 percented because i went through that entire damn galaxy and i mined every planet of everything um that sounds very colonial (laughs) yeah i was uh number two joey you'll like this one the original vanilla wow that soundtrack the one that i had on my list is incredible. I can listen to it yep. from beginning to end. And even though I don't play the game anymore, I still listen to the soundtrack because I have so many good memories of those areas and those zones and just playing playing that game. Like That soundtrack is just amazing. Yeah. And my number one should come as no surprise, Ninja Gaiden for the NES. Probably the best soundtrack written for, for the entire NES library Every single uh, uh, level has its own music. Every uh, it's just even vomit. Go back. Go listen to the Vomitron <laughs> versions, metal versions of that soundtrack, and it's just it's amazing. And I love Ninja Gaiden, and I love the fact that I am now forty five years old and I can beat that game uh, <laughs> pretty regularly, and I love it to death. And that concludes my. Top five list best game soundtracks. I think we all had really good lists. I think so. But uh, but that brings us to the halfway point. And um, what we're going to do now is we had all of our listeners send in their top five lists. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off with our good friend, Mr. Axblade07, who says, uh, here's my top five list with the systems I was first exposed to hearing the soundtracks. Not in any particular order. Uh, let's see. His, I'll start with his honorable mentions. At number four, he's got Streets of Rage for the Genesis. Final, oh, wow. That's a good one. Yeah. Final Fight. Both of those two. Another good one. Yeah. Those Ooh, both have really good soundtracks. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, 
which uh, yep. ha- still has uh, traces of Michael Jackson <laughs> in the yep. soundtrack. <laughs> and uh, his number one honorable mention is Zelda Ocarina of Time. And then his uh, actual list is number five, Castlevania Symphony of the Night for PlayStation 1. Crazy Taxi, Dreamcast version. That does have some really good music. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) That always reminds me of that game every time I hear it. Hey, hey, hey. Crazy Taxi. (laughs) Uh, Number three, Donkey Kong Country for the SNES. Number two, Super Mario 64. And number one, yep. Lords of Thunder Turbo Graphics 16 CD system. I'm oh, not goodness. familiar with Lords I'm not of Thunder. Familiar. Yeah, I don't know that one. Mm-mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Derek, do you want to read the Bethany Fox list? I would love to. So Bethany Fox, his honorable mentions are Stardew Valley, which is a really Ooh. fun game. Yeah. Uh, F Zero, which Jason mentioned earlier, oh, and yeah. Banjo Kazooie. Great, Banjo. great soundtrack. Uh, number five is Red Out. I'm not familiar with that one. I think that's a racing game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds familiar. Number four, Neon Abyss. Three, Doom 2016. Two, Splatoon 3, which I still need to get. And number one, Darius Twin for the Super Nintendo. Wow. That's another name I haven't heard in so many I don't so think I ever years. played Darius Twin for the I Super haven't either. Nintendo. I've, My, I know I've of it. Darius Rucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to be with you. Hold my hand. Yo, I've oh, seen Darius oh, Rucker hand. live doing his country stuff, and it's actually really good. And I don't care about Darius Rucker. I don't oh, care yeah. about hooties, whatever. Yeah. But man, that was pretty Hootie. good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Derek, do you want to do the next one? Because uh, then Ty- I got Tyler Watson. Or actually, I could go ahead and do Tyler Watson right now and you can do uh rampage um, okay I, I gotta go to the discord because i couldn't get it to copy and paste um so here we go to mr Discord's tyler really watson that. uh at number five he says katamari De- damacy is that how you say Ooh, that or yeah, katamari damacy he says an odd ps2 game with an even odder soundtrack but it absolutely works i love works. that soundtrack it, do, says, it does have a really good soundtrack yeah, he says check out that. the song k sera sera from it it's just so calm and relaxing for a game about rolling objects up into a big ball uh number four sonic the hedgehog 2 still the height of sonic soundtrack sonic adventure 2 comes close for being good, but st- despite having the buddiest of butt rock <laughs> and shout out, <laughs> the he's not wrong. Butt <laughs> to, rock. That's great. And shout, also shout out to Ice Cap Zone from Sonic Three. Yep, that's a very good one. Uh, number three, he says Donkey Kong Country. Uh, D- he said D- DKC Two is the better game, but the soundtrack for one is better. A game about an ape getting his bananas back shouldn't go this hard. (laughs) Uh, Number two, Super Mario Brothers 1 through Mario World. I'm going to cheat here because I don't think any of these four games has a better soundtrack than the other. Uh, I don't know. I think as far as the as super as the original 8-bit through 16-bit, I'm going to say Super Mario World has them all uh, conquered. Because well, Mario Three is a close second. Yeah, though. well, I like Mario Two as well. It's got great music, yeah. but technically, it's not really a Mario game. Yeah, it's it is, but mechanic. it's technically another game that was reskinned as Super Mario Two. So, can you count that? I mean, yes. Well, then I'll <laughs> count it. Then. <laughs> what well, wasn't it? Wasn't it the same guy that wrote it, wrote the music? Uh, Kanji, uh, what? Koji Kondo. Yeah, oh, yeah, Koji Kondo. Wasn't it the same guy? I'm sure. I don't know. I'd have to look. At... You're the I'll fact checker. Up. You look this up. <laughs> Son of a. Do your job. I got it. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> <laughs> and his number one is Mega Man Two. I randomly walk around with Metal Metal Man's theme in my head. Plus Wily Stage One and Two is a classic. And I will say that too, that uh, Mega Man 2 is a banging soundtrack for the NES. And uh, I think Vomitron does a, a good version of yeah, that too. It is Kanji, uh, Koji Kondo. Yep. So, I, uh, for... I got I got suckered into uh, getting a timeshare Koji Kondo 
one time. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm almost done here with, with Tyler. And we got honorable mention, Street Fighter 2. Guile's Ooh, theme may go with everything, but Ken has the superior theme. Uh, Doom, E M or E1M1, a.k.a. At the Gates of Doom, and is an absolute banger. I mean, it's just Master of Puppets, so it's hard to make it bad. And that's uh, the thing about you know Doom. What? He's not a think about it. Yeah, that's true. Doom did rip a lot of metal off <laughs> back then. Um, <laughs> I said uh, TMNT, Turtles in Time, Sewer Surfing. That's it. That's Warped the entry. It. And then Guitar Hero slash Rock Band. This is big time cheating, but that's why I'm here and not on the main list. Well... <laughs> First off, he put Guitar Hero and Rock Band on the list. I will admit, I liked loud. Guitar Hero way better than I liked Rock Band. I hated Rock Band because I am an actual drummer that was signed to Universal Records. Can play? I can play anything on the drums, but you know what? I can't play Rock Band drums, and that's <laughs> stupid. You should bring them. This live isn't on real music. I can play them. I can't play Guitar Hero drums. <laughs> No. <laughs> How can you say one about one and not about the other whenever they both have the same problem? <laughs> oh, and Axe Blade uh, in the chat room put a put a link up for us. Says, think you would like the soundtrack? It's on the Turbo Mini for uh, Lords of Thunder, uh, Winds of Thunder PC Engine. So I'm going to have to cool check name. that out. I like it. Lords of Thunder. Chat room. That's so Lords 90s. Of Thunder <laughs> is what happens when I go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Lords of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Derek, you can do Rampages next. Okay, next up we have I Am the Rampage. Rampage. Number five, Super Mario World. Four, Halo. Three, Doom. Series in general has good music. Two Mega Man X. No, he's a big fan of that game. He says Storm Eagle Stage Forever. And at number one, Double Dragon Neon. Every track is a fantastically made, updated reimagining of the original tracks. My nostalgia for the arcade game plays a big factor, but every uh everyone in this game is a is a gem. I need to play that game. I've watched him stream that a couple of times on uh Twitch, and that game looks really fun. I need to get what, that. What what system is that on? Uh, it was on PS4, but I'm pretty sure you can get it everywhere. Why have I never played it? Go get it. I got to check that out. Yeah, I got to check that out. Get it. Uh, get it. Up next, we have uh, Donner, Party of Five. Uh, at number five, Chrono Trigger. That's a good game. That's some mm -hmm. really good music uh, right there for the Super Nintendo. Um, we have four, Hollow Knight. Number three, Pokemon Gold and Silver, our first Pokemon uh, oh, entry. I, I would figure that Mr. Tyler Watson would have had some Pokemon on his list. Uh, let's see, number two, Halo 2. And number one, Gustavo Santiola's absolute masterpiece that is The Last of Us. See, that's weird. I just uh, played The Last of Us, and I don't remember much music from that game. There, there's <laughs> not a lot, but there's, there's uh, just a lot, there's of, a lot of ambient. Yeah, there's just a lot of like when when you're in quiet places, like in between yeah. missions, you'll hear a lot of like plucking of you know uh, uh, not guitar but like flamenco guitar strings. Sitar. Yeah. Well, not sitar, but. Sitar. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. Did you finish just... it yet? Yeah, I finished it uh, okay. a couple days ago. That was a really good game, and holy crap! Yeah, I was going to say, I, I I don't know if you talked about like your thoughts or whatever, but I would love to hear. That. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what really what the choice I was supposed to Is have it made. Is considered but... retro because it's been out since PS3, oh, so yeah. you can talk about it. On, <laughs> I mean, if you can it, review if, it on this show, if my choice at the end was <laughs> supposed to be going in and whether whether or not I was supposed to blow everybody away in that surgery room. I just went yeah, in that's the guns option, blazing. I killed everybody in the that's room. What I, yeah, that, that's what I did. That, that ends up being your only option, I believe. I mean, I, I was like, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I don't I don't want to spoil it for anybody for, anybody for a, you know. Well, it's too late ten now. Year, ten year old game, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you starting the second one? Uh, I got to get it. I, I, it's, oh, right. I'm going to let this one soak for a while. I got Got a oh, couple so, more games. It's so good. The second one is so good. <laughs> I got Horizon Forbidden West. I got to jump one next. Ah, you could skip that. Really? Oh. Yeah, the first one wasn't worth. 
But I was playing the Last of Us, and it, it and made me opinion. want to go back and play Days Gone again. Good. You can, you can keep playing that. <laughs> I'm on my I'm, – I heard you guys talking about it last week, and I meant to chime in, but I didn't uh, – but I forgot. But I, I am in the midst of my 10th playthrough. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But to wrap Well, that's us... what you said. You said that last week. I think you played it like 10 times. Already. Yeah. Man, you are spot on. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the 10th. So I haven't I – haven't, I, haven't, I haven't finished the 10th yet, but I am in the middle of it. But, uh, Derek, you want to finish this out with Mr. Halam Akbar? Mr. Halam Akbar asks, would I be boring to say any five Mega Man NES games? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I no, love that cheating. answer. No, that's that is, I, I love it, though. Yeah. The, I, I love the cleverness. Uh, Mega Man games are soundtracks are great, and they always lend right. themselves really good. That That's the thing about old NES games. They lend themselves to, like, metal versions so well, and I don't know why. Like, you go listen to Vomitron or, or E-Rock, any of those. Uh, and E-Rock's really good, too, to go check out on Spotify. He's got uh, a lot of different albums, like um, uh, uh, Movies Meets Metal, where he does, like, movie soundtrack stuff. Like, he does, like, the Ghostbusters theme and all that kind of stuff as metal songs. Then he does, like, video games and uh, just all kind of stuff on his uh, Spotify playlist. So go check out e rock and Vomitron. That's my two, my two uh, suggestions for a Spotify listen. Can, can, can I can I bring something up that I I don't know why I n- didn't think about it until now, but I feel like it needs to be said. Uh, <laughs> I think the music in Fortnite is very over uh, underrated. Uh, be, if anybody, if anybody wants to and i think that you should go listen to the butter barn hoedown i remember you YouTube. telling me about this <laughs> and it is phenomenal <laughs> there's more music just that name game. alone is amazing right the butter barn hoedown is one of the funniest songs lobby it's I, a lobby track and it's basically the theme song of a like a wa- like a waffle house type restaurant <laughs> that's in world that's operated by a human pancake man uh that's also a bounty hunter so the pancake guy yeah yeah he's pancake. the uh the the that that's the artwork uh, i'm looking at right now <laughs> it it's sounds like a, like a great like movie a... plot by the way <laughs> Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I hope they have man cake in the in the Fortnite movie when it comes up. I mean, uh, yeah, sure they'll have Peely and and Jones, but if man cake's not in the film, I don't want nothing to do. I don't with care it. about Fortnite, but this is actually I'm listening right now. This is really fun. <laughs> Fortnite is such a weird property because it's the only game you can play where you can just be John uh, Cena, The Rock. I mean, yeah, anything you want to be. Like they've yeah. got. Batman and like Marvel <laughs> characters and Star Wars characters all in in one game. That's just weird. It's it's the Roger Rabbit of video games. Yeah, basically, <laughs> it is Ready Player One. Yeah, uh, yeah. We we had a team the other day that was Man Cake, uh, Ash from Evil Dead. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot he's in there. It was Spider Man and uh, Starfire from the Teen Titans. All, all in the same team. That's awesome. <laughs> That's insane. It's it's great. But uh, but that brings us close to the end of the episode. Um, is there anything you guys wanted to talk about before we we jettison out of here for for this three hundredth episode? I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> what about you, Derek? Anything you want to bring up before we go? Um, no, nothing other than what I said at the top of the show. You know, just thank you to. Wally and Joey for taking the time to be on the show for this special occasion. And thank you to everybody who's been supporting us for these last 300 episodes and hope we can hit 300 more. It's thank you guys for having me on thank here you. again. Uh, Joey, let's start with you. Yes. Tell everybody where they can find your stuff on online. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm uh, stuttering. I'm on every, <laughs> uh, all social platforms at Joey image TV YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. Uh, 
I made a hive thing. I don't even know what the hell that is. I mean, I, I, I made that. I'm yesterday. thinking about looking into that. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I, so I didn't hear about it ever. I saw one tweet, and every single day since then, yeah. I've seen like 30 tweets about it. I'm like, this just literally popped up out of nowhere. That started uh, today for me. I went on Twitter, and just like every other tweet was somebody like, "Here's follow me on Hive." I'm like, "All right, well, yeah." Another why the hell yeah. would I do that? Another I don't know where it came network. from or who made it, but everyone thinks that uh, that that musky guy is going to kill Twitter. So Hive <laughs> is the next the next best thing i don't know i don't oh, understand it but guy. anyway but... <laughs> i like your musk <laughs> <laughs> that's what it always reminds me of like that sounds like some kind of british cologne like elon the new elon musk. Oh, actually my dad used to wear musk you remember musk. yeah to... <laughs> mine did too came in a little orange thing yeah i used um, to put it on when i was a kid that's the, the deodorant came in a little there was a deodorant too it was a little orange uh orange plastic thing Joey, or you're, you're my age did, did your dad ever have uh cologne like, and it's exactly like it was in Anchorman when he's got all the crazy colognes in the, in the case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, My dad yeah. used to have these colognes that were like in these glass. Um, they look like there would be like, you know, a Great Dane. And then it would be like, you know, like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> did, did your dad and an never old have... timey car. My father did yeah. not have the Panther one, though. <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> that I know of. 60% of the time works every time. It works. It, that is every basically time. what it is, and I think they all came from Avon. Believe it or yes. not, yeah, you know, really, like... they they did. There's a ton of stuff that uh, when my when my mom I mean, when my mom when my father passed away a couple of years ago, <laughs> my mother was cleaning out the closet, and she's like, I, "You want this? It's from Avon. I found there's like 20 different boxes. This is from Avon. Do you want this? This is from Avon. I'm gonna throw it out. I'm like, Jesus Christmas! Yeah, <laughs> rampage my parents, my in the chat room. Used to keep them. Rampage in the chat room says 60% of the time, it works yep. every time. Every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> but I don't know why that popped in my head. We were talking about, we, we, just for some reason, those cologne. weird old cologne. colognes cologne. that my dad used to wear. You remember High yeah. Karate? <laughs> Who oh, remembers yeah, High Karate? <laughs> Uh, I know because I said uh, I said Elon Musk sounds like a British cologne to me. Like we we had to get the a new Elon Musk comes in we, a Poland Spring bottle. All we could do, <laughs> I, I mean, you know, is. you had to go to the mall to get high karate. You had to go to Kmart <laughs> to get low karate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god! What about you, Wally? Where can everybody <laughs> find you on the interwebs? I'm at the real big wall everywhere. Uh, also, <laughs> if you that's real big. I, yeah, right, I am uh, starting a new podcast with the Rampage. We we talked about it last time, but we have finally solidified what it's going to be. It's going to be called Dead Game, uh, which it's essentially us talking about game franchises that need refreshed, and we are going to try to be necromancers, bringing them back from the dead. <laughs> Um, and that's going to be the, the show. Our first episode is going to be about Fortnite. <laughs> it's it's still well, current, though. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is that it's in such a lull right now, and that's where we got the title from, because whenever Fortnite posts anything online, there's going to be like a dozen guys commenting, dead game. And same with oh, okay. like uh, Among Us and, you know, all these different games that have been going on forever. Uh, they'll put the little the dead game and we're like, well, what would make it an alive game? Let's find out, you know, that kind of thing. And but it's not just that it'll be like, you know, what is a new Star Tropics going to look like? What is uh, what would a new day's gone? Don't you like? dare tease that, me that like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> I am teasing you because I want you to listen to the show. <laughs> Ah, but yes, that's what it is. <laughs> I would love a new Star Tropics game. Damn when it, is Nintendo. That Wally, when are you guys starting? I'm hoping that... Oh, honestly, we haven't discussed exactly when, but we're hoping that it's going to be in the first week of December or the second okay. week of December. I'm awesome. looking forward to this. Nice. So I, I'm hoping that that's when it is. Because I want to get my new computer in and yeah. get everything set up and then just go from there. Because, you know, we got a logo... Uh, I mean, we, we, I don't know if we got theme music or not. Ask Rampage. I forgot if we did or not, but, uh, <laughs> we listened to a lot of stuff. I didn't like any of it. No, but, uh, it's, <laughs> it's like, whatever, just, just put music on it. I don't, you know, <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, Derek, we did it. We got to 300, 300. episodes and, uh, 
I don't want it to end. I just want it to keep going. And now we got to get to 600. So that's going to oh be. Oh, my God. My heart just skipped a beat. I thought you were going to say, I don't want it to end. I but... Don't... Oh, <laughs> but. No, don't do it. Well, <laughs> this right. is the final this episode. Is it. Uh, uh, that, that no more. That's it. It happened to me once with a co host where a guy just quit the show <laughs> without telling anybody and then did it live while, while we were live Oof, in the air. And I almost sucks. fell out of my chair. I would so never right now, do I'm that. Like, oh, God, don't say that. I like, I'm ne- sitting here like, oh, Jesus. I would never. I would never. No, no I would never do that either. This is the one. <laughs> any, Elizabeth, it's the big one. Any it's last coming. words before we we exit this evening? No, this has been great. It's been a great show, great 300 episodes, and like you said, I I don't want it to end either. I see no reason why it should. So let's keep going. Let's we'll take every one next the, week. May okay. every piece of the Triforce lead you to oh, another yeah. cheeseburger. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> it just popped in my head because I'm thinking. About I, I love it though. Like I said, I thank you to everybody that has followed us since the beginning, that has been here, and people that have jumped on the bandwagon and uh, been following us over the last six years. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all our patrons, everybody that supports the show. And uh, even though we're 300 episodes, doesn't mean you can't try to get more people to listen because we're going to go at least 300 more. And the uh, best way to do that is to tell your friends about it if you did, they're a gamer and you know, all that kind of stuff. And go go leave us reviews wherever you listen to the show. That helps out a lot. And um, so we've gotten a lot of a lot of new listeners lately. And uh, like I said, go join our Discord and be a part of the community because we have a lot of good people in our Discord community. But that being said, let me pull up my notes here so we can... Uh, Google, you're killing me here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Wouldn't be an episode if I didn't screw something up, but here, we're going to get out of here. If you would like to email us, you can email us at nerdcaveretro at gmail.com. Go to nerdcaveretro.com. That <clears throat> takes you straight to our link tree, which goes to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, our merch shop, ncrmerch.com. You can go over there and get T-shirts. You can get bags. You can get coffee mugs, stickers, magnets, whatever you need, ncrmerch.com. And, of course, our Patreon is patreon.com slash nerdcaveretro, where you can give us as little as a dollar a month to support the show, and we'll keep doing all those extra episodes like commentary tracks. And meanwhile, I need to do a news dump here soon and some news ever drops. And also... I, mean, I, I, I want a commentary track of Pinocchio's Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> Leave us a review. Like I said. I want, to be, I want to be there when you guys all watch it for the first time. <laughs> but, uh, but Derek. So terrible. Tell them what it's all about. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Yes. Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I love that. And that's an episode that was 300. Uh, well, what were you that saying, Joey? I, I missed what you said about the commentary track. Oh, I said I want to do one on Pinocchio's Revenge. Oh, and yeah. I want to, I'm, because I want to be there when you and Derek see it for the first time. Let's do that for December. I'm totally down for that. Okay. Actually, we still got to do one for this month, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, uh, we we didn't we never did one for Halloween. We just did the review show. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do like this weekend. We may do it this weekend if we can't get that together. We'll do uh, we'll do it next month for uh, for Christmas. Next month will be great because I won't be around this Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Or Saturday. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Don't listen to me. All right. Well, this weekend so we'll confused. do uh, we'll do something uh, if if Wally and Derek are available. We'll do something over the Thanksgiving holiday. And get a commentary track out. Are there any multiplayer? Oh, Fortnite, I guess. I was going to say, are there any multiplayer games that we could do online together, all four of us, and like live stream it? I mean, we can always do Among Us. That always seems to be the simplest one. I think we could do. um, uh, All guys and and Among Us have never played. Could do Shredder's Revenge if there's crossplay. Ooh, that'd be fun. There is, I I think. Think I have to get is. that actually. I tried to play with a PC guy the other day. Uh, no, a PlayStation person the other day, and it wouldn't let me. A PC guy. That's weird. <laughs> that guy's not PC. I'm not playing with him. <laughs> Swear well, too much. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, everybody's going to watch on YouTube. And uh, we'll be back next week with episode 301. <laughs> 301 episodes. We'll see you guys. <laughs>